Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to create, uh, how to set up a simple time of day system so that uh, as you can see in the screen the sun will dynamically move like it will set and it will rise as you can see in this demonstration. So it is sun is set now and it's becoming dark and the stars becoming appearing slowly and now it is full dark and yes sun is in the other side now so after some time as you can see it is uh, in the horizon sun is about to rise and yes like this so uh, it is in the morning again okay and also I am going to show you how uh, with a single variable like this so this is 8 in the morning and I'll set it to 12 so it is 12 in the noon I can set it to let's say 23 that means night or 24 so I can using this variable I can set the time or the starting time and also we can change the rate of time flowing as well so right so let's get started so this is my current project and for now we don't have the time of day system here so let's implement it first thing I'm gonna do it uh, do is uh, we don't need the weather controller for this so I delete this one and uh, and this uh, sky sphere we have already created this method update sky and if you are not sure what is here it is just the just the same thing that you can see in the construct section of the BP sky sphere so I am doing the same thing in this update sky event as well so I have already done that in a previous episode and then I am going to extend this class and create a child blueprint class because I don't want to change this uh, existing sky sphere in the which comes with the engine so I'll de extend this and I'll sky sphere I'll name it extended right now we don't need this and I'll delete this one and we let's use this child uh, sky sphere we just created instead of the default one and I'll open this and I'll create a variable called time set it to a float and I'll set it editable so that I can access it here okay so now I'm going to create a function called update time right so now what I have to do is changing the in order to simulate the time of day I have to change the direction or the rotation of this this directional light so as you can see in the local axis mode so this red axis represent the direction that the Sun is facing so to change this uh, the time of day what I have to do is rotate in this around uh, Y axis or the green axis right 
so let's go back to our here update time node and in here first thing is I have to figure out so this is a float value and I I'm not going to make any restriction here so we should put some value in between 0 and 24 here so that uh, it represent 24 represent 12 midnight and the uh, 0 is the same uh, and uh, yes this is in that 24 hour format because it is easier to work with work in that format right now so if I just go, go here in the known I'll set everything to zero so it is like this and when it is in the known this uh, should be like this that means uh, it should have 270 degree rotation so to do that get that calculation this is what I am going to do first I am going to take the modulus of this time value by dividing by 24 so that we can ensure that whatever the value we put into time variable we get something in between 0 and 24 then I am going to divide this by Uh, 24 and multiply by 360 360 represent the 360 degrees around y axis then I am gonna add 90 degrees so uh, these are degrees uh, this is yes this is float values but in this axis system these are degrees so this this little function or this little calculation gives us the rotation that we should apply to our light source for this particular given time right okay so now we already have a reference to light source here or direct directional light here because we have extended extended this class from the default BP sky sphere and here I'm going to set actor rotation like this and for now I am only concerned about the pitch so I'll plug it here and I'll leave them as they are then I'm going to call the update sky function here but this updating doesn't take place if I haven't enabled or set this refresh material boolean to true so I'll set it to here Set refresh material to true right now to test this method I can go here and I can call update time method here I don't think we need this let's see okay now here this is zero okay nothing changes okay let's connect this all right we need that okay so I'll set it to eight nope let me check
okay ah the problem is uh, we haven't defined this uh, reference here right so yeah now if i set it to zero you can see the sky is dark and if i set this to eight it is like in the morning if i set it to like five in the door if i set it to let's say 12 it's the noon yes it's working and yes i still think we don't need this let's break it and see yes uh, no we need that okay right so now we have the time of day system so that we can set the time here but uh, still we can't set the time in how to change the time at the runtime to do that I have to so that we can get this effect sunrise in and uh, setting to do that in this event graph I'm gonna set time and get the current value of the time and add some value like 0.5 okay I hope it wouldn't be too fast and then call update time here let's see okay so as you can see sun is moving and now sun is setting right and yes now it's the night time yes we can see the stars and soon it will rise again all right yes right so that's what i wanted to show you today and also one small thing so if you enable this uh, light shaft here you can get this effect so that uh, when the sun is rising you can see these rays like this okay so that's all for now and the next time I'll show you um, when the sun is in the other side we this environment is pretty lit that's uh, let's and also we need a moon as well so in the coming episodes let's address these concerns and see you in the next video goodbye